but where in the heck did I just randomly come up with an infection in my abdomen? What? I mean, just... What? Been here for five hours so far. Let me explain. Here we go. I don't know. Should I even? Maybe I'll just keep it like this. Maybe I won't. Maybe I. Oh my god. I don't even know. Okay. We're just we're just gonna wing it. Okay, we're gonna wing it. All right, y'all. Well. The situation was, I don't even know where to start for real, because this is just, uh, this week has been awful, and I need a do-over, like, big time. I'm not even going to go into everything, but I'm going to just talk about the hospital, because this this is just, this is what happened. Alright, so, the past couple days, I don't know how many... Just the past couple days, I wasn't feeling well, like stomach-wise, like sick, like, like, like I'm catching the flu or something. Like it just wasn't feeling good. I didn't know what was wrong. I thought it was just me recovering from surgery, and I can't open this eye. So very much. So I'll explain that at the at the end. Okay, but um, oh, I. Wasn't feeling good, so yesterday I needed to go to the grocery anyway because I needed to get some things. <sighs> so I go to the grocery. Oh, excuse me. And um, I'm just walking on along, like you know most people do at the grocery. You know, maybe you push your cart, maybe you pull your cart. I don't know. However, you do at the grocery. Well, I walked away from the cart for a second because I needed to get something off the shelf okay so you know most normal people leave their cart sitting somewhere and you go on up and get what you need and you come back and you put it in your cart and off you go again okay that's what normal people do me on the other hand I'm obviously not normal because I walk on off and I trip and fall in the store. Yes, you heard me. I tripped and I fell. On the knee that is already bad. Right? So, tripped and fell. I don't know if I tripped on my dress. I don't know if I tripped over anything. I didn't see anything. This lady helped me up. Whatever. Oh, I, I just didn't think nothing of it. But then I realized I fell on my stomach. I just had surgery two weeks ago. Or, well, this is week three, so... Well, yeah, two weeks ago. I had surgery two weeks ago. I fell on my stomach and my knee, okay? I was shooken up. I was throwing up before I even entered the building. I was throwing up after I left the building. So, it's like, hey, you know, what the heck is going on here? So, I managed to get what other little bit of things that I could tolerate because I was, like, in extreme amount of pain. And let's just say I walked into Myers, but I was limping out and crunched over when I left. Yeah, that's it. That's how I do it, though. That's how I roll, right? Okay? That is ridiculous. I'm just saying. So, um, where else do I begin? Well, okay, I, I get the groceries and everything, and I come home, and I lay down, and I was just, I just, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. Like, I was feeling awful. I felt like I had the flu on top of my knee was in excruciating pain. My belly, or my abdomen area, was hurting like I just had surgery all over again. 
thought, you got to be kidding me. I seriously just fell in the store. My ego is crushed. I feel like the clumsy klutz of Meyer. Yeah, I mean, just and all of other things. So I get home, and I'm home for a while. And let's see, it happened maybe 10.30 or 11 in the morning. The, the incident, the onset of the incident, the fall, anyway. It happened like 10.30 or 11 in the morning. And then um, I'm home the rest of the day. My mom called into work because I couldn't even watch the kids it just wasn't happening so she called into work to stay home and help me which I all I did really was like I took some pain medicine and I took some fenugrin because I was nauseous and, I, and that fenugrin will knock somebody out so I slept for most of the afternoon part of the afternoon well I woke up like three or four I'm not really sure what time it was evening hours took a shower and said I'm going on to the hospital because I knew something just something just didn't feel right and it didn't and my stomach was still hurting uh, my knee was just popping when I walked it's like it was pop 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 like it was doing this when I was walking so I knew it's like something's not right so I went on to the emergency room and told them what happened and, uh, I was at the waiting room for, I got there at like 6.15 in the, the evening, and I didn't leave till 1.30 in the morning. So, I was there that long. It's almost a whole work day that I was there. I'm in the hospital, I'm waiting, 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 waiting. We're gonna fast forward through all the waiting. I, my name gets called. Thompson! It's like, alright. So, get on to the room change into the gown and the doctor comes in like five minutes later he was like checking me out of course doing his like check the ears check the throat you know a normal checkup like they would do pushed on my abdomen whoa buddy that was hurting that was that was really hurting uh, so he was like, well, I figured it'd be a little sore. And he said, I hear you just had surgery two weeks ago. I said, yes, sir, I did. And I told him what the surgery was, total hysterectomy, yada, yada. And I fell on my left knee, yada, yada. And he goes, well, I am extremely concerned because your pain level has not went away in your stomach and everything. And he was like, I am going to do a CT scan on your abdomen to make sure you don't have any internal bleeding. Well, right there, I was just like, do what? Internal bleeding. So I asked him about it, of course, and he said, if you fall after surgery, there is a very high risk of internal bleeding. I guess it just depends on how you fall. So I'm like, internal bleeding? I'm still like, that word is just like ringing in the back of my head. Internal bleeding? So... I wait around, wait around, the nurse comes in, I get an IV put in, I get fluids, and she gives me pain medicine through an IV. I don't know what it was, but it hit me like a ton of bricks, and I wasn't functioning very well after that. I don't know what it was. I couldn't tell you. She told me, but I don't remember what it was. So they gave me like a big, big dose of this, and it went through my IV, and it hit me quick. Well, after that, I go to x-ray for the knee, and then I eventually go to CT when they actually put a contrast in my IV. I don't know if anybody's ever had a CT done. Well, I'm sure. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But if you have, have you done the contrast? The contrast goes in. I don't see it because I'm you're laying flat and you can't move. But it makes your body feel like you're laying on um like like sun like you're just laying on the sun and it's burning you up it makes you feel very very warm like you just feel this warmth go from your head down to your feet and it is really creepy and i'm not gonna lie it's creepy the ct scan comes back this is like two hours later after the ct scan is done I get, well, I'm back in the room, obviously. They will you back in. So, um, the doctor comes in, and he's like, 
Well, your knee is banged up pretty bad. I said, I figure that. And I told him I have trouble with my knee all the time because I do. I don't know what it is. It's happened like three, four years ago. I just all of a sudden start having trouble with it. So it constantly bothers me. So now it's like really bothering me. And he told me to just do ice and, you know, 20 minutes of ice, take it off. 20 more minutes of ice, take it off and so on. And then he tells me that I don't have any internal bleeding, which is awesome, but <laughs> I do have a very bad abdomen infection, like, or whatever they were calling it. And it, it's a, an infection from surgery. He doesn't know how I got it. Which is the question that I have been asking everybody since I found this out. How do you get an infection in something that's closed and sterilized? But my entire abdomen area is infected. With what? I don't have a clue. They haven't said that. But it's infected. <laughs> so there's the reason why I was getting sick and not feeling good throughout this week was because I had an infection in my abdomen but who in the heck would have thought even that because why would you have an infection when you just had surgery and you're all closed up and nothing was ever like oozing out of the stitches or staples or anything I know it's TMI but it's the truth this is this is the truth this is how I've been feeling so <clears throat> so, stitches are intact, staples are intact. According to what they could see on the inside, the staples were still there. So, I'm like, okay, that's good. But, where in the heck did I just randomly come up with an infection in my abdomen? What? I mean, just, what? So, okay, there's, there's that that I was, that I'm dealing with. I was put on two antibiotics, which are, the first one is Flagyl, F-L-A-G-Y-L, 500 milligrams. So this is one tablet twice a day for 10 days. And this other nice, lovely uh, antibiotic is Cipro. May or may not be saying that, but I probably murdered it. That's another 500 milligrams. So that's 1,000 milligrams each time I'm taking it, because you take them together. And so it's 1,000 milligrams of antibiotic entering my system all at once. And I take both of those twice a day for 10 days. So there is what happened. I know, I, I just, I don't even know. I vlogged for maybe two seconds while I was in the hospital. And then after that, like, once that medicine hit me, it was over. There was no chance that any vlogging was even going to happen after that. It's not, it just, it was, it, no, it wasn't. So I tried. I tried, y'all, I tried, but you got that maybe minute clip, if it was even a minute, I don't know. I'm not sure, but, yeah. So, there's what's going on with me now. If it's not one thing, it is another. So, anyway, I'm done. There was my update. There, I mean, that was like the second week of surgery update, kind of, sort of. Then again, no, it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just like, I don't even know what to say. But I have an infection in my abdomen, and that needs to get cleared up ASAP, or I will end up in the hospital again. And so send your all's positive vibes and prayers my way, because I sure need it. I cannot catch a break. I don't know what the heck. I really don't. I just, I just want to say, what the heck? Really? Yeah. So, there we go. I'm going to end it there. So, thank you guys so much for watching. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. You guys, love you. And I will catch you in my next video.